If there is one thing we can be confident about humans, is that the more we learn with research and technology, the more we validate how wrong we've been about a lot of things. But mistakes can lead to amazing new discovery and help create new opportunities. And this wine is one of our big mistakes. But let me tell you, it's one of the most delicious mistakes we've made. Do you know what this wine is? In this glass is a unique wine from somewhere around the world. Let's see if you can figure out what it is and where it's from. And the first thing to do is to take a look at the color. Wow. It's a medium to deep ruby color. Lots of wines have this color and there's a definitely a lot of extraction. It's well crafted. Let's give it a sniff. I smell roasted green bell pepper, cherry, cedar plank, a whiff of cocoa powder, and a touch of red plum. The fruit flavors are red and ripe, suggesting a moderate and sunny climate. The note of bell pepper is coming from aroma compounds called methoxypyrazines, which occur naturally in this wine grape. Let's check the structure. Acidity is a medium plus, tannin is medium, it's a dry wine, and the body is medium plus to full bodied. So what grape do you think this is? Is it Merlot from Washington State, Cabernet Sauvignon from South Australia, Cabernet Franc from the Loire Valley, Carmenere from Chile? It's time for some answers. Master of Wine, Christine Marsilio, fill us in. The group of varieties that we have here are all related to one another. One of the traits they share are these green aromas caused by methoxypyrazine compounds, which range in smell from bell pepper to coffee or even dark chocolate. But for Washington State Merlot, I'd expect more pure cherry and kind of mint chocolate aromas. So scratch that. Also, South Australian Cabernet Sauvignon will have more black fruit and even eucalyptus notes. So that's not it. Both Cabernet Franc and Carmenere, though, do really fit these flavors well. However, the Loire Valley has a cooler climate, and the roasted pepper aroma here and the fuller body of this wine don't really fit with the Loire. This has got to be Carmenere. And today, Carmenere grows almost exclusively in Chile. You might be wondering, how does a Bordeaux grape end up growing only in Chile? Well, it's a very lucky story. When Bordeaux varieties were first imported to Chile, Carmenere was mistaken for Merlot and planted throughout the country. For years, people noted how Chilean Merlot had a really distinct bell pepper-like aroma. And it wasn't until 1994, after the advent of DNA analysis, that researchers determined that about half of Chile's Merlot was actually Carmenere. Today, we've come to learn that Chilean Carmenere is special because phylloxera wiped out pretty much all the Bordeaux plantings during the 1800s. So it's a pretty rare grape in a way. So Madeline, please tell us, what are we tasting today? Today we're tasting Casa Silva Carmenere from the Colchagua Valley in Chile. So there you have it. You're one glass deeper into the fascinating world of wine. This wine is part of Wine Folly Club. And if you'd like to taste along, you can become a member. And we've got more videos like these coming up, so definitely subscribe if you'd like to learn more about wine. Until next time, happy tasting, salut.